Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today's video is going to be about staying organized. I get this question asked so much. How am I staying organized? Especially now things are online, it's so much easier for you to slip and like like mentally on week one but physically this is week 10 of content so like i think this is very important that you stay organized and like get the degree because ultimately you're not paying this type of money just to mess around i mean we are but we want a degree out, out of any of it okay so if you don't really know i do an engineering module module i do an engineering degree i study civil engineering at the university of southampton and i'm going to explain to you how i stay organized and how i'm going to graduate with the first okay anyways first things first is let's go through the basics of how this year is set up basically all my lectures the majority i say like 95 percent of my lectures are online so we do it through zoom teams or this thing called blackboard collaborate which is like a video software within blackboard okay um so basically how the layout is now that everything's online um the lectures will release content week by week by week and some lectures will give you like it breaking down so you watch part one part two part three someone will just upload it and not tell you which one you watch it depends on how they like depends on the lecture okay so let's start off with me because that's why we're here i've t i've taken four modules this semester um i took an optional modules called human factors and you know that's one of the best decisions i made but i'm going to go into that more later and basically most people have three modules this year, so I have an extra semester. I have an extra module this semester. Pray for me, because like the workload already, and it's only week two. So this is the folder I, I have. I use this massive. I prefer the massive ring, ring, um, ring ones compared to like. There we go. Compared to these normal ones, because I just feel like they fill up easier. So I have this massive one, and this is probably gonna be my semester one folder. Because let's just be. I don't. I don't. You know when people have like a, a folder per module. I don't know. I don't really like doing that. I prefer having all my stuff together, but separated. Okay. So first things first, man. Divide it. Divide your folder, your page, or whatever you use to collect all your work into sections. You have four modules or three, depending on what you do. And so you should have four sections. There's no reason why you should your geotechnics should be mix, mixing with your structural or your you just don't know where your tutorial questions is. Okay, so how it goes, how I did it is these are this is the folder for semester one and I have four modules. One, human factors, two, um what's this one? One, human factors, two, structural, three geotechnics for highways okay and so in each of these plastic key wallet things i have the name of the, the module so like can you see it says this says human factors in a nice handwriting and then inside these wallets what i like mainly about like some um it being online is that teachers or lecturers would upload the self-directed pre lecture preparation which is basically like a uh, a, like a, a table of everything you should have completed by the end of like the 15 week semester so it's like this is last week introduction to human factors watch a presentation complete the activity then watch this presentation then notice examples of blah 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 and then you can physically tick them and that i think it's, this is why i love having a printer i printed this off asap because this just helps me load and like organizing in my hand i'm the type that i need to physically see what i have left to know Oh, this so I can organize my time properly, and then she's broken it down to like calendar dates, so like week beginning this, week beginning that, and then your coursework and tutorials. So, yeah, so this folder basically contains like the very important information about like how the how the modules led the um, lecturers' information any important deadlines or coursework so i keep them in the in the wallet. I know it acts as a divider from like different modules. So that's human factors. And then after I have that, I have my human factors notes, which like they're all color coded. So human factors is pink. I mean, you don't have to do this, but this is purely just to help me. Human factors is pink. And then this is like, say a tutorial that we just did. And so I, I attempted the tutorial in blue and then I watched the tutorial live and anything I needed or got wrong, I added it in pink so I can see like the bits I've added onto it. Next is structural. So we have structural engineering because I am doing a civil engineering degree, not psychology. And then again, in this wallet, 
I have it, the broken down into week one all the way to week 18, which says exams. And so it has introduction sheet one and then question sheet one and two. And then say like week six, we have sheet six. And then over here, it's just the same. It's just the same thing, but in a different layout. I just think it's important to like, the reason why I have them in here is that you want to easily access it. Like you don't want to ruffle through all these notes. You want it to be like on demand. So you can just tick as you go. And then the structural, it's color coded blue. So blue post-it notes, blue headings. And I just work through it like low key hard, low key long. But yeah, and some bits are just, some bits I print them off. So as she's working through the worked examples, I print off and then I annotate, I add onto her notes. I find like sometimes with work examples, it's just you spend more time trying to copy everything down than actually listen to like the inf important information. So if you have a printer, print it off and then add the ad libs. I call the ad libs the things that aren't on the worksheet or aren't on the, t on the tutorial slides that she said or he or she. Um, and then so yeah, I highlight all the key um, equations in like blue and then my tutorial sheets are put in a wallet because we we have one every week and then next we have geotechnical which is green so everything is color coded in green and so we have this which is what the lecturer released the module format and then where you can find the different sections in the book because there is a book that helps you with this module and we have an online version on we have an e-version online anyways and so we're geotechnical which is all about soil but i don't know what geotechnical is we'd had this we had soil mechanics which is a second year module which leads on to this third year module and then there's a fourth year module which leads on to, which comes from this one sorry and so we have all of these so like worked examples if you can see i hope you can see and so these are all my notes and and then um i sometimes print off the lecture slides because really and truly i spend more time trying to copy the lecture slide like writing handwriting it than i do listening so some bits especially when it goes through a worked example and in so much detail and like it's really complicated drawing it i prefer to just print it out and then annotate it so these are just lecture slides and then last but not least purple we have highways so we have highways and traffic engineering um and so this is just another like timetable of like say week one what we're covering what online material week two week three and then week seven to twelve again at the front of my folder so i can easily access it and like see what i need to complete for the week because like online tabling our online timetable doesn't include like lectures it only concludes includes tutorials so like listen if you're not up to date with your lectures it's so easy to come behind and so highways is purple and so i add all my notes in purple and yeah that's basically it for this folder and i think like it's so important to be organized like keep everything in one space and like make it clear and concise like what you're trying to like get from this folder okay another thing i do is um some i know some people like writing the note and like online and i mean like digitally so i have like folders i have like digital folders in my desktop so i have like all the different modules and then in the modules i have like um coursework and all of that and also don't forget third year is when we do our individual project and dissertation so like as well as doing these four modules we have our individual project which is actually 30 credits which means it's worth two modules and so we have to spend time on that and so i mainly organize that on my laptop um so yeah if i just go to like i normally organize it on my laptop because it's just easier because most of like my individual project is reading or research and so you're not really going to print off just to put it in like a physical folder while you can just put it online um so yeah that's basically how i organize all my stuff if you want more information just comment down tell me if i can improve because i'm always willing to learn and adapt because like ugh, you know that's what we're here for adaptation trying to get the best grade best thing possible best experience but yeah thank you bye guys